What's up guys? So today just got kind of a weird video for you today. So this is gonna kind of be a server shenanigans, but it's on my server that isn't released Revival 2. So it probably looks familiar. You've seen this from some of the videos. I did unlist a bunch of random nonsense ones that don't even matter anymore, like coming soon, because obviously it did not come soon, but um, there should, you know, you, you, you probably recognize it. Anyways, uh, we're on the server, and I've been messing around with testing things, and what I like to do is try to play the server as if I was a normal person. So I'm uh, not, like, this is my account, right? <laughs> like, so um, I kind of do, like, what I think normal people would do and what I would do on my, like, what I would do if this wasn't my server, if I was just trying the server out, what would I do? So um, it's good because literally in the first, like, seconds, I've already found things before I forgot to record and already did stuff. Uh, so the first thing I noticed is that doors, uh, some a lot of doors that are you probably want opened are not opened. And I could also see some weird issues with people potentially, uh, I mean, it's a little slow, but I could see people trying to grief people. And I, I like the idea of that as a troll mechanic in some ways, but also, like, not here, not all the time, not everywhere. Also, that, oh, right, because I'm not on the correct client, that's why that's not, oh, fuck. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Anyways, wait, what? I thought everything on the client should be good. I guess I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> like 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 I've said many times, revival two is very difficult to learn. We're still learning. I don't know. That shouldn't be. That should be surpass. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out. Um. So yeah. So first thing I did is looked at shops because that's what I figure most people would do. And then the second thing I did is train. So first thing I noticed is doors might be an issue. Uh. And that, I think they should probably just be removed and the walkway clear. At least the main important ones that that like you know. They're going to be opened a lot. Like, for example, this right here is perfect. This is exactly what we'd want. And this is just natural. This, this doesn't have a door. This does. <laughs> uh, so then the next thing I did is I went to train. And what I like to do is obviously I check the XP rates. Uh, and then also was trying to figure out... Um, it's a little different now because I've kind of gained stats. Uh, but these things hit... They hit pretty hard, and the first monster you're likely going to train on should not hit. Plus, I'm pretty sure these don't hit that much anyways. They definitely have more attack than they should. So that's the first, that's, that's what I'm going to do, is lower that. Because it's always, because, you know, most people don't, they don't think to get the, the food. Obviously, I know there was a bank right there, but most people, are, like, they'll just, they'll just do exactly what I did. I do that all the time, and I've seen people do it, and, you know, you, you've probably done it yourself, so... Um, those monsters, the first monsters people are going to face be weaker. So then after finding out that the monster is strong as hell, I'm going to go bank. That's what I would do. Also, I'm not sure where I got so much money from, but I feel like maybe I gave the starter too much money. Or maybe I should keep the money, remove the dragon skimitar, make you buy the dragon skimitar. I don't know. I know normal Iron Men don't get the dragon skimitar, so you don't have to worry about that. But And I know they get less money, but I don't know, man. A normal player getting this much money feels like too much, but uh, maybe that's just me. Okay, so another thing that's kind of a byproduct of being... So Perfidus is like a high-level area. Most things... You, you need 70s and most stats to get here, and it's probably one of the hardest quests in game. Um, I, I did it on one of the leagues, and it was pretty difficult. Uh, so you're not really going to be a low-level noob here. None of these rocks you can do from level 1. So that's something we should fix. Uh, it might be a little dumb because obviously they'll look different, but I still think it's probably for the best... Also, I did not make the minecart work as a deposit point, which technically it does, so that's cool. I didn't even know that until I just saw it, so. Uh, yeah, a lot of things we could do. Really want to get the attention to detail, have everything perfect. Also, I've sort of been going back and forth on this. What do you think is better, having chickens in here or having goblins in here? Or something else, a, a, a surprise third option. Let me know what you think. So this place right here in the actual game, there's just two, like, elves battling, and this is, like, the little combat section, right? Uh, so, but for my logic for it, I'm thinking, you know, it'll just kind of be, like, a little attraction part of the city where gamblers kind of gamble. I mean, it's more of, like, a seedier area. Not that it's a seedy place, just because, you know, Perfidus is fancy in the first place, but... If there was anything shady to happen, it would be in this section of it. That's why the Slayer Master's here, the dungeon is over here... Uh, so I'm going to sort of try to add more things to sort of add to that, like more like environmental things, maybe some broken glass bottles, 
um, you know, maybe uh, maybe some more NPCs that sell things. I think that's another thing. Like, because you'd think somebody would try to sell like snacks at an event like this or whatever. Um, so something like that would make sense. Just to, you know, make the environment feel better. Feel, you know, I like to I like to make the home feel like a freaking home. Like, like every time you're here, you know, and it'll look even better when there's other people running around too. Oh, and I'm dumb. I think the I think I thought the starter was good because I completed this achievement. I should probably fix that because it's kind of dumb. I've seen this in another private server before, and I remember when I did it, it made me laugh. Or when I like experienced it, it made me laugh. And then here on this server, I've basically done the same thing. Uh, you essentially go to this guy, buy a house, and then you complete an achievement to get the money right back, completely defeating the point. Um, I like the idea of achievements kind of giving you direction. It should give you, like, an idea of what you should be doing. But also, it's just kind of stupid that it even charges you if it's going to just give you the money right back. Maybe it should charge you more, give you less money, or reward you something else. I do like the uh, achievements on this server. Obviously, they're not they're not finished. I think, I, I don't even, I think only the first three are the ones that have actually been, like, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure which ones I've been keeping, but I know that these three were ones I was keeping, and obviously I'll change this one. But um, I, I, I like you can get more dynamic rewards. It doesn't have to be uh, one one reward fits all. So uh, I'm definitely planning to do a lot with that system, and I think that's something I, I want to rework right there. If you haven't looked at the run energy formula yet, um, I don't know if it's the exact same as RuneScape. So let's see. Let's see. We, I mean, we have one agility, so it would be pretty awful. If you've ever played RuneScape, I mean, you've played RuneScape, right? So I feel like it's already better than normal. Yeah, it definitely seems... Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Could I actually tell the timer? Um, I'm not sure. I have no clue. But either way, I think it should definitely be better. I do like the idea of agility mattering. Mattering? Mattering. I, I feel like I've done that before. Mattering. I, is that a word? I have to... Okay, I think it's a word. <laughs> I'm not sure. I typed in is mattering a word, and then it just brings up matter, but then it also says, yeah, maybe. So, I don't know if it ended up mattering. I don't even remember what I was talking about, so we'll just move on. And part of what I was talking about earlier with this place being a higher level place, the agility course requires 75 agility, so no one's training agility here. Uh, so I think what I should do is put the, uh, I don't know, maybe not here, so then people don't accidentally click it when they're... <laughs> when they're uh, you know trying to do this maybe on this side maybe like right here put uh, a gnome or something like that somebody who can take you to an actual place where you can train now most people probably will figure okay well I can go to drain or rooftop but yeah I, I mean like you can you can always just go to the skilling tele the teleport thingies and teleport everywhere obviously that's always an option but I want to try to think about what they would first do and want to make home as maximized as possible I've also done a pretty good job of like removing random trees that don't need to be here to make paths that are accessible. And one path I'm noticing is if you already went this way and you're trying to get to the thing, you gotta walk all the way around. So I'm gonna remove some of these trees and just kind of give you guys a short, uh, a shortcut. These two should probably work. Okay, so if this was a server shenanigan and I was actually trying to do a video, I think at this point I would I would have, well, I would have actually done it the first time around. I wouldn't have picked the hardest XP mode, but on this account, I'm the hardest XP mode, and it's going to be kind of impossible to progress, uh, you know, or do anything. So I'm going to change to the fastest mode, try to get, train up my stats a little bit, and then we'll try out a little bit of combat stuff. Maybe we'll see how like what, what amount of money we can, you know, I don't know if we'll do barrels or something like that. But last thing, real quick, I want to just want to check the house and just check construction start off. Okay, so now I'm at a point where I've got stats. I got, I got the stats. I want money. So like most people will probably ask, but thieving is usually what you would do. I think the the thieving I have was just random bits I did to test. <laughs> I wasn't even really trying to make money or anything. I don't even know what I did with it, but. Um, I do know at the, the thieving stall here, you can get random cat, you get cash, and then you can also just get silk, but you don't really want the silk. The silk is kind of just an item filler. You want the cash that you get. So I'm going to do this for a little bit, and then upgrade our gear uh, through the shops. I'm going to do something about thieving. Maybe it's just this. Oh, I, do I not have shift drop on? Ugh. That should default be on. But I'm pretty sure old school doesn't default be on either, so... I don't know. Um, it says your attempt to steal it, but it doesn't actually tell what you get or that you were successful. 
I almost feel like it shouldn't tell you you're attempting at all. I mean, like, I don't know. I guess because there's kind of that delay, maybe it doesn't want you to think that something's not happening. I don't know. And then I suppose if I if it did tell you your reward, there would be spammy. It feels spammy either way. Let me know what you think. Should it just tell you your reward instead of you attempt to steal, or just leave it how it is and not waste time with it? I guess at this point, I'd probably look at the mini games, standard mini games. Uh, probably would try to do Winter Taunt, but considering it probably needs people, well, maybe you can solo it. I don't know. Oh, he probably has level requirements. Don't you need 50 fire making? Yeah, not gonna do it. Uh, what's one way thing we could probably do? Really, just barrows, I suppose, right? I guess Warriors Guild. I guess that's probably what I would do. I don't know. I have no clue, but uh, I think I'll end this video there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to start to try to do more videos like this, just random stuff here and there. Just to make a video, just to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get a, get in a fog where I'm not making any videos or um, doing anything with the server. As long as I keep the server in my mind, then, you know, I feel like that's a, a good thing. So, uh, you'll probably see something soon. If you have any ideas, comment below. Um, I, like, if, if there's anything you want to see or something like that, let me know.